Sadly, there's no such thing as the ideal vlogging camera, but can the DJI Osmo Action 3 be the next best thing? So I make cycling vlogs, and to do that, I need a very particular type of camera. Up until now, I've been using GoPros, but let's just say that's been somewhat less than ideal. A couple of months ago, I discovered the DJI Osmo Action 3, and so far it's been ticking a lot of my boxes. So today, I'm gonna to go through some of its features and say why I'm going to be using it as my main vlogging camera from now on. Now, I do have to be a little bit transparent here and say that DJI did contact me and asked me to try the camera out, but the opinions I'm going to give in this video are completely my own. The first thing anyone is going to want to know about any camera is the image quality. And the Action 3 does not disappoint here at all. It gives out an absolutely stunning 4K image, particularly if you use the new 10-bit flat color profile. Now, of course, you can shoot using the standard color profile and use that footage straight out of the camera. But if you use that 10-bit color profile, it will have to be graded later. But I personally rather enjoy doing that. Again, I'll be very honest here and say that from what I've seen of it, the image coming out of the GoPro Hero 11 is ever so slightly better. But unless you're some professional pixel peeper, or you're using the footage in some high-end 4K broadcast TV situation, you're probably not gonna notice much of a difference. Like most action cameras, the Action 3 has a wonderfully wide 155 degree field of view. But of course, once you start using the excellent image stabilization features, this does reduce down a little bit. So when you click in, rock steady it crops the image a little and then when you step up to rock steady plus it crops the image in a little further obviously it needs to do this because the image stabilization system is electronic and it needs to do that for that to be able to work one of my pet hates when i'm filming my riding vlogs is having wonky horizons so one of my favorite features of the action 3 is the horizon leveling feature. As the name suggests, when I take the camera out and start filming, it keeps all of my horizons beautifully level, and that's up to about a 45 degree angle. The caveat here though, is that it does take a couple of seconds between switching the camera into record and the horizon leveling feature kicking in, but that just means I have to hold the shot a little longer than I would normally. Now to be fair again, the GoPros also have horizon leveling, but they do it in a slightly different way. So uh, you can do it one way in camera by switching the GoPro to the linear field of view and it will maintain that horizon leveling, uh, but that's just a little bit too narrow for my taste. Or alternatively, you can go and buy the Max lens mod. Now this is quite expensive, but it does allow you to maintain that wide angle, but the downside there is that it only allows you to shoot in 2.7K. With the Action 3, you can have all of these horizon leveling features and still shoot in that stunning 4K resolution. Battery life on the Action 3 is nothing short of incredible. DJI claim that you can shoot on a single battery for up to 160 minutes, and that's two hours and 40 minutes if you prefer. Meanwhile, in the real world, I've been out and about shooting my riding vlogs using a single battery. I've shot everything I've wanted to and had battery life to spare. If you are unfortunate enough to run out of battery power, don't worry. DJI claim that you can charge the battery for as little as 18 minutes and receive an 80% charge. And that's enough to run the camera for an additional 100 minutes. One of the things that I really like about the Action 3 are these very clever little magnetic mounting brackets. 
basically you clip it onto the camera and once it's on there it's rock solid you can shake it you can do what you like and it's never going to fall off yet you can still release it very very quickly and easily again the kit comes with two of these mounts so you can put one in one position and another in another position and swap very quickly and easily between the two now if you're one of these weird people that like shooting vertical video perhaps you're a caveman or perhaps you want to create content for your social media account the action 3 has you covered as well the kit comes with a metal case with a clip on the side so you can attach it on there and shoot all of the vertical video you want Yay. when i'm doing my pieces to camera on the bike obviously the audio is very important indeed and the action 3 does a reasonable job but like most action cameras it can suffer from wind noise now the solution i found is this foam windshield actually this one is for a gopro hero 9 i'll probably burst into flames every single time i use it but it does a fantastic job of reducing all of that wind noise and giving me nice clear audios even when it's fairly windy outside after i was taking us on this little seawall here it's not super narrow but um yeah i've got to keep my uh, eyes and my wits about me here yes just a little bit outside of my comfort zone at the moment another great feature of the action 3 are the dual touch screens the one on the back is large enough to see what you're shooting and to change the settings but the one on the front being slightly smaller i just use to make sure that i've got the shot framed correctly now i could also use this screen to change the settings as well but if you've got chunky fingers like me it can be a little bit fiddly for me the outstanding feature of the action 3 has to be its reliability in the past this has been the single biggest issue i've had with the gopros basically i've hit record and i haven't been hundred percent confident that it's going to continue recording or it's going to give me the footage that i expect i've been using the action 3 for about two months now and so far it's worked brilliantly there's been no overheating there's been no freezing issues where i've had to reset the camera and all of the footage has been problem free basically it's worked flawlessly every single time now sadly historically this hasn't always been the case in the past some earlier models of the action 3 have suffered from a focus issue which has meant that anything close to the camera has been ever so slightly out of focus now my understanding is that this focus issue was cleared up Firstly, with a firmware update, and secondly, with a manufacturing update. So in theory, every single Action 3 camera produced after the latter quarter of 2022 wouldn't suffer from it. Surprisingly though, when DJI sent me the first Action 3 to try out, it did suffer from it, despite being manufactured during that period. Now I worked with DJI and we concluded that it wasn't something that I was doing wrong, there was a genuine fault with the camera and it was only fixed when they sent me a second action 3 which thankfully worked perfectly to be fair to dji when i told them that i was going to include that information in this video they didn't try to stop me now obviously this focus issue is potentially the single biggest reason why maybe you wouldn't want to buy an action 3 which looking at the bigger picture is really unfortunate especially considering just how great the camera is otherwise once we'd sorted the focus issue though i was really really pleased at how well the camera worked the image quality is absolutely fantastic the stabilization is silky smooth and the horizon leveling is perfect essentially this camera does just about everything i need it to do now if you'd like some further information about the action 3 i'll leave a link to the dji website in the description below in the meantime though thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one